All right. Good morning, everyone. How are you? How's everybody doing? Great. All right. Awesome. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to thank Women in Cup Spring Bay for allowing us to be here. I'm um, very excited to be here. For me to represent my company and our story and pretty much how we came to be, how we started, and where we are now. So I'm really, really excited about our journey, our process. And for not only for us to tell our story, but to us for, get, for us to get to know you and uh, more about you and, and and learn about you and uh, see what uh, resources what we can bring together. So let's kind of get started. Um, uh, so Link Link Digital Media Production, uh, we specialize in building uh, content um, and branding, uh, those fun things through digital, so pretty much through digital media content. Um, but before I kind of dive into the company and what we do, I just kind of like to share a little bit about myself. Um, I think that's the best thing uh, that I like to, to do. Uh, I, I love sharing my story and and I think building relationships is something that really stands out. It really kind of hits home for me. Uh, I, I love interacting with people. I love listening instead of talking. I'm a great talker, but uh, I really do love listening and enjoying people's stories, their background, their culture, their, their the diversity that surrounds them, that encompasses them. And um, so yeah, but just a little bit about me. Born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, I think that uh, being around the city, it really does, it has one it has brought me to become a really great leader uh, for my team. It's really educated me on how to be very fast paced and how to navigate, and how to manage everything. And uh, on top of that, uh, Bucks team, Milwaukee Bucks is doing really good right now. So shout out to Milwaukee Bucks. Um, but essentially, my drive is the thing that gets me up every single day. That's my impact and my legacy. This once again kind of hits home for me because it's one of the questions that I got asked a lot uh, when I first became an entrepreneur was, what drives you, what drives you? And I didn't really know how to answer that question because I felt that one, I was starting to, I was getting to you know, know myself, I was still developing, I was still learning. But then as I look back on all the relationships that I had built, it was important. And one of those things was with all the coffees, that with all the coffee meetings that I took, with all the lunch meetings that I took, I learned that there was an impact that I had on people, whether there's a, a quote that I said, whether there's something that I said that really stuck out with them, uh, that they looked back and they said, that really helped me, that, that, that really uh, drove me to be the absolute best in my career, whatever I did. So my impact is something that I take with me, whatever conversation I have, whatever meeting I have, I want to make sure that when I'm done with that, that somebody takes some sort of value from that. And so me impacting people is something that always, always uh, is important to me. I think to be should be important to everyone out there. And just a legacy that I build for myself, not only for my one day kids, but just for, just in general. Like I feel whenever we go to work, whenever we are stuck on a project, whatever we're doing, we're building something for not only ourselves, but for our future generation. I think that's what it kind of comes down to. No matter if you are young or old, you always have to think forward thinking. You know, you always have to think, what can I do to better someone else's life? So impact and legacy is something that really gets home once again. I wrote an article about it on my LinkedIn, so check that out if you ever get a chance to. And my work, that's something I love to do. I, I firmly believe that if you're gonna do something for the rest of your life, why not love doing it, you know? Like why not love doing it? And so I put it in the work, I love the people that I surround myself with, I love the projects that we take on, love the clients, all the relationships, everything that, you know, is, is uh, who I am, is what my company, I think it essentially is my work, you know? And I, like I said, I love doing what I love to do, and it's important. And my team, uh, I hope one day that, I hope I, I have kids, but I like to think that right now my team is my greatest creation. When I recruited my team, I really wanted to put together a group of individuals that were going to really shine and make an impact, not only for themselves, but for other people's companies. And I wanted to take young people that were smarter than me, that could do things better than me, because I think that's essentially what you should do. Hire somebody that can do the work, can't, that's smarter than you, and essentially make your company look better, make you look better, and not only that, make themselves look better. And so when I create, when I recruited my team, I said, I saw your work, I, I see your work, um, I would like for you to, to pretty much join this company that uh, me and my co-founder is creating, and let's see where we can go with this. And so far, it's been an absolute success. Uh, and once again, people are my greatest impact. I, I consider myself a people person. I would take any <laughs> coffee meeting, I would take any lunch meeting with you, even if we have two different 
like two backgrounds and two different fields of work, I still want to get to know who you are as a person. And I believe um, the, one of the greatest things about that is we're sharing resources, we're sharing ideas. Essentially, we want to make the world better. And that's why I think no matter what relationship I build, I want to make sure that whoever that um, I encounter with, I want to make an impact on their life. And so that's why I kind of put down as people being my greatest impact. And my bag. Put my bag on there because it is part of my brand. It's who I am. There are three key essential things that I always keep in my bag, and that's one of my favorite books, my notepad, and my calendar. And I carry that thing with me everywhere. And you probably won't see me without it, and if you do, it's because I'm just kind of taking a break for a little bit. <laughs> so um, that's just kind of a lot about me, a little bit about me, however you want to uh, word that. But let's just kind of dive into our company and, and our start and our journey. So what do we do? We specialize in building and branding your company through digital media content and, 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 and platform building. So what that essentially means is if you're a company uh, that's an insurance company or this, any company you can kind of describe, we make sure that you have a nice clean website. We want to make sure your story is essentially told through that content that they were building for you. So through your Instagram page, through your LinkedIn, through your Twitter, whatever it is, we want to make sure that whatever target market that you want, you make sure that we, you have the social media platforms to really showcase your story and how you can really impact people and benefit people. Um, we do it through, through that content, we do, we do a lot of marketing. So uh, we basically do these creative ads where essentially everybody swipes through things, everybody clicks through things all throughout the day. So it gets kind of annoying at times. We create content that it makes engagement with you and that specific product or that specific business. Like we understand that there's loads of swipes, loads of clicks that you go through every single day. And we want to make sure that every piece of content is something that you engage in, something that really intrigues you, something that really uh, connects you with that product, that business. And so we really stress literally every single bit of content because we don't want anything to become swipe. And yeah, it's it's that's something that's really important to us and we try to use the best creative methods that we can possible. And coordinate events for companies to connect people through our events. Basically, what this means is we want to connect people. We believe, we truly, truly believe that in order to make this world better, we have to share resources together. We have to share resources together. And I say that because, um, you know, there's always like this, you know, category. If I have this, I, I donate to this charity. But if you have this many resources, why not let the whole world, you know, benefit from it? You know, like why hide that thing? And so we make sure that whatever networking event, whether it's your personal business meeting or, or a public event or it's just like a networking event, we want to make sure that there's some type of resources being connected. We love people, we want to connect people, we want to share ideas, resources once again. And it is important, as people we are in this gigantic world and I feel like our purpose really is to benefit each other, is to better each other and essentially make us as a culture better. And so that's what we do. Um, and essentially, we're building, a, you're rebranding and branding your company through digital media content, essentially. That's essentially what we're doing. A lot of people, when they started out, it was always, you know, obviously it was magazine ads and TV ads and things like that. But as we start to grow and as we develop into this streaming digital world, it's more of content. So we're essentially building uh, your small, your startup, whatever it is, we're essentially building all that through digital content. And that's just, that's just really awesome. Like all businesses, we do have our struggles. We really do. And that's something I kind of want to talk about. Age and experience has been our two challenges. Age because whenever, when we started out, we wanted to work with clients, it was always this, you know, how old are you? How old are you? And how much experience do you have? And that's something, you know, me as a leader, I said, this is an age group where, yeah, you look at us, our age, but look at our results. Look at what we can do for you. Look at the impact that we're making on your business the traffic that we're not only bringing to your social media, but to your product or company as well. So age should not play a, a, a play a part, but it is a challenge that, you know, uh, we do take and we, and we try to get over that hurdle with every piece of, uh, uh, or every, with every potential, you know, client that we have. And experience, once again, it's that notion of how long have you been in this industry? How long have you been a photographer? Uh, one of my photographers, Basically, he knew everything there was about the camera. He just didn't have enough, you know, portfolio, meaning subjects and things like that, to really showcase his work. So I said, you know what? I'll take you on anyways because I believe you. I truly believe you. 
and I said, you know what, I'll be your very first paid client. It absolutely is beautiful, and he's an awesome guy, and I'm glad I worked with him. And so that's one of the things. I try to give people opportunities to do something really, really important and impactful. So I, I'm very proud of that, um, but that has been our challenges. But through our challenges, there is a lot of accomplishments and success. So accomplishments, we've done with any clientele, which I'll be showing you all of our clients in a second. Um, we have a coming office space for young creatives, which is a really important thing because you don't see that many 18, 19, 21, 22, or 23 year olds having their own office space. It's not kind of like a common thing, but it has been a huge accomplishment for us and we're very proud of that. We've revamped and introduced companies to our local areas and we're also targeting markets uh, outside of uh, Wisconsin, meaning our Chicago area. We have one client in Chicago and that's really, it's a testament and shows a lot about our story, the fact that we already have a client outside of our region, so it's awesome. Um, and then we're building companies, once again, through uh, digital content and innovative marketing. We do things differently. We know that if this person is marketing this way, if this person is marketing this way, and it's different from the first person, how can we do things completely different? How can we do things completely better? And that's essentially our accomplishments, and we love to do uh, what we do. So here's our current companies. Uh, technically, there is nine, or or it has nine. Uh, we're right now currently building a logo for a company, um, Infinite Human. Awesome guy, awesome story. Uh, cannot wait to showcase what he does. But these are um, our clients. TCU, awesome. We just had a shoot yesterday. Uh, we just landed a Sanders Super Bowl uh, bowling alley. And so it's been a key life, woman empowerment. I can kind of just go over all the companies that we do. But essentially, um, it's been really awesome, and something that these companies have all together, all in similar, that they all want to help people and build a community. You know, that's something, you know, we don't work with everyone. And I remember having a, our first client that we turned down because uh, basically the morals and things of that nature, you know, we try to keep everything clean. We do want to make an impact and we want to be positive, you know, to, to kids, to um, bigger companies. And so it's just been really, really, you know, awesome that the fact that each one of these companies want to better other people. And I think that's what essentially kind of comes down to the wire, no matter what field of work you're in, is you always got to help the next person over. And essentially, and finally, thank you. Um, once again, I'm very, very proud to be here. I'm glad to be here and share our story. And if any questions that you have for me, uh, thank you. And shoot them my way. And essentially, let's just drink some coffee. Get to know each other. Give me a hand. I can ask the first question, but I'll open it up to the community first.